What up, everybody? This is Star with Star Delta 9 coming at you from my kitchen. Oh, yes, I am. I have a beautiful recipe that I want to bring you guys. It's called salted caramel pretzel bark. And of course, you know, I make my medibles infused. Any desserts I make, I make infused. So here are your ingredients. Two sticks of butter, one cup of light brown sugar, one regular bag of pretzels. You will only use three-fourths of a bag unless you do what I did and get the mini pretzels that I, like I did, and so you will use more and 12 ounce bag of chocolate chips. You will take a cookie sheet such as this and spread your pretzels out like I have and set that aside and set your oven to 400. You will then grab a medium to, well a small to medium size saucepan and what you're going to do is place your butter in there. I have already kind of pre-melted my butter this is all infused can of butter, two sticks. And I am just going to take you over to the stove. We are going to place this on the stove. Here we go. Okay, we're placing this on the stove at a low to medium heat, just enough to melt your butter, okay? You don't wanna overheat this. When your butter's completely melted, you're going to add your one cup of brown sugar to it, and you're going to just stir it occasionally until it all melts together and turns brown. Don't let it boil. That should take about three minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my brown sugar. One cup of light brown sugar. I have this on a low. I'm just stirring it in to incorporate the brown sugar into the butter. What you'll have is kind of like a sticky goo on your hands, if you will. And then once it's all incorporated, you're going to take that and evenly pour it over your pretzels. You can use a spatula to spread it evenly if you want, but in my experience, what happens is it kind of picks up your pretzels, so the best option for me has been to pour evenly. So I'm just letting this all meld together. It's gonna to take about three minutes. Once you have poured this over evenly, you're going to bake that sheet, that baking sheet, at 400 for about five minutes. You're gonna remove that from the oven and you're gonna immediately sprinkle 12 ounces of chocolate chip over that. Place it back in the oven for about 45 seconds and don't over bake it because you'll burn the chocolate. And then you're going to just Sprinkle it with a little bit of sea salt. Let me grab my sea salt. Let me grab my sea salt wherever it might be. I'm gonna be using Himalayan sea salt. It's moving all in there. You're just gonna let it mesh together. It's not quite melded all together yet. You just don't wanna let it boil. 
So I'll bring you back when it's all melted. Okay guys, mine has all melted together and browned nicely. And I'm going to just give it a quick stir. It's kind of a sticky gooey mess here in the pan. So you wanna to try to, at once you stir it all up, you wanna make sure you try to pour this as evenly as possible. And we're gonna do the pour together. Have your oven set to 400. And you're gonna place this in the oven for five minutes. So we're gonna place, pour evenly. Make sure you get it all out of there. Now, as I said, you can take your spatula and try to scoot some over your pretzels if you're missing any. But your best option is a complete, even pour. I will post some pictures of the pour. Okay, and we're gonna stick this into the oven for five minutes. Here we go. It's 9.26, so I'll bring you back when the five minutes is up. Okay, guys, mine's gonna be coming out of the oven here in a few seconds. Really careful because it's hot. Now what you're going to do is sprinkle your chocolate chips over the top evenly. And you can really create this to your own liking. If you want more chips, you can certainly put more chips. You can add white chips, butterscotch chips, any kind that you want. Make it your recipe. Just take a little spatula and spread them out. Oh, it smells amazing. I think I'm going to add a few more chips to mine. I use the mini pretzels and so I have to cover a little bit more. This should be good. Now you're going to place this back in the oven for 45 seconds. Don't over bake it. So set your timer. Thank you. 
Set your timer for 45 seconds. Let it go for 45 seconds. Don't over bake it because you don't want to burn your chocolate. Then get your Himalayan sea salt or regular sea salt. I'm going to use Himalayan sea salt and we're going to sprinkle it on the top as soon as the four to five seconds are up. And then you're going to put it in the refrigerator and let it cool for one hour completely. Chop it up and enjoy, my friends. I wanted to give you guys a special recipe and to let you know I put the Patreon account up as you guys requested. Let's get this, baby. If you pledge to my Patreon account, that's what it looks like. Done. I'll give you a flyby. Yum, yum, yum. So now I'm going to stick this baby girl in that refrigerator for one hour. And I think I'm going up here. And that is how you make infused salted caramel pretzel bark. Thank you guys for joining me. As I was stating, I did put the Patreon account up. I'll put a video on that, but I will be bringing those Patreon special recipes. So make sure you sign up. One plant, one love, one tree. Peace. Okay, guys, my pretzel chocolate caramel bark has been in the refrigerator for one hour. So now I'm just going to take the parchment paper out from underneath that cooker sheet. Set that baby aside. And we just going to crunch up some of this. What I find is it's best if you just break it up. See? Mmm, mmm, mmm. I promise you, you will love it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So, just chop it up into the pieces that you enjoy. You can start in the freezer in the freezer for up to six months as long as you package it correctly, and the refrigerator for a good three weeks. Enjoy, peace.